with Gen X Labs, we go hardcore, and there is no athlete that goes as hardcore as Nick Volpe. This man is out of control. That's all I've got to say. Nick, you can tell by looking at you that you take your training seriously. Tell us how long you've been hitting it in the gym and how long you've been competing. Well, I started in 2005 and I won the Bev Francis Metropolitan, my first contest. I worked with Victor Martinez as coach Victor Munoz. And uh, bodybuilding is a very tough sport. And I ended up uh, giving up for five years and just focusing on myself. And after that, I, I had uh, uh, met my ex fiance as of now. And she got me back into bodybuilding in 2010, and I ended up doing the Las Vegas Classic. I took third, and then in 2011, I won the Nevada State in Reno. And 2012, I took third in the Junior USA, a uh, smaller national show, and then I took fifth in the Junior USA. Then I took 11th in the Nationals, 2013. And then I won the Arizona last week, the Arizona Open, and the overall Mr. Arizona. And now I got a first call out here in the USA, so I'm, I'm hoping, keep my fingers crossed, I'm in the top five. They got a first call out, so, which is good. With, with such an incredible competition history, and you've done so well, how do you handle it mentally, emotionally, when uh, a contest doesn't go the way you think it should, or you maybe don't come out as well as you'd like to? Um, how do you handle that mental aspect of things? I reassess things and think about my weaknesses and uh, work on bringing them up, especially my lower back and my mid-back were my weak points. I brought them up a little bit, but they still are weaker, I feel, and they still need to do, get a little bit thicker. So I feel this off-season will be nice to work on those and put on a little bit more muscle. And uh, I think that, that should be sufficient as of now where I feel I need to work on. Now, you must spend hours upon hours in the gym. How much training time would you say you put in a week? Um, well, pre-contest I train about an hour, but it's really intense. And then I do posing for about a half hour. And then after that I do, well, I do morning cardio about five to, five to six weeks out on an empty stomach for about 30 minutes uphill on a treadmill at 3.5, 2.5 speed. So 120 beats per minute efficiently for, to burn fat. So. so this is kind of a full-time job for you, is it not? Pretty much. I do some construction in New York, and I also do some online training. So those, those are my two incomes as of now. And uh, bodybuilding is uh, my goal. I want to turn pro. And uh, my dad, who passed away two and a half years ago, he's, my, uh, he's kind of my savior. And I said last night, uh, before the pre-judging, I said, I'm going to get a first call out and boom. I got a first call out all because I was praying, praying to God and praying to my dad and, and uh, knew that, uh, that I, ha I am a top contender here and, and, I, and I know I'm a top contender. I know it might, might sound arrogant and cocky to some people, but when you train that hard, you really have to believe in yourself. Otherwise, if you don't believe in yourself, others will not believe in you. I think that's a great message and I don't think that you can confuse arrogance um, with confidence. Right. I think people in the general public who don't compete or don't understand competition might perceive that to be arrogant and cocky because they've never been on a stage and they've never dieted and they've never pushed their bodies to the limit. So they automatically think that, uh, oh, that person just, you know, took, a, took some supplements and never worked hard and, you know, and he's just a big dumb idiot and they uh, stereotype, you know, bodybuilders and until they actually get to meet a bodybuilder and realize a bodybuilder is nice and, and, and friendly and has a good heart and, and we, we just want to achieve our goals like everyone else, whether it's achieving goals and, and making money or, or, or other, other parts of life, you know, we want to achieve here on the stage and, and get our pro card and, and become professional. So that's our goal. Uh, You've heard it from Nick here. It's about heart. It's about faith. It's about hard work. Nick's bringing that whole package. We're excited to see how he places here in finals. We're rooting for him to take that top five. I think with your kind of dedication and drive, we know that it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen at this show, but we're planning on it, I we know that up. it will happen soon. Never give up. Never give up. You heard it here. Never give up. Stay strong. I know you all want to see a little bit above what's under here because... He's been working hard. 
He needs to show it off a little bit. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see Nick. That's how we do it at Gen X Labs.